welcome to the next video on flat in this video we are going to see the construction of a regular grammar generating the language for a given dfa m let m be that dfa that is m is equal to if we represent it in five tuple q not q1 tell qn this is the first set states then sigma then delta q naught and f okay so q is consisting of these states q naught q1 till qn okay now we can construct one grammar g as four tuple V T B S where V consists of A naught A one till A N T is nothing but sigma the input alphabet P consists of P will be designed and the starting symbol that is s is going to be a naught so how p is defined so let us consider if delta q i a is equal to q j and it does not belong to the final state then we induce one transition a i is rewritten as a j and if we are having delta q i a is equal to q j belonging to final state then we are going to introduce two productions one is a i is rewritten as a j and a i is rewritten as a okay in this way we are going to construct the grammar for the given dfa m which generates the language tm and uh, we are having the corresponding regular grammar now consider one example this dfa has been given you can see here if we want to represent it in five tuple how we are going to represent it that the states are q not q1 next you are having a and b as the input alphabet delta has been defined by this transition diagram q not is the initial state and q1 is the final state now you want to generate the grammar for this uh, dfa m then we have to construct g in the following manner the variable will correspond to these states two states are there so we are going to make two variables in the set v so a not and a1 t will be equal to sigma so a and b production rules will be defined as per the transition given in the dfa and a not corresponding to the initial state will be the start symbol so four tuples are there v t p and s now how p is constructed just consider that so you can see here q not upon receiving a goes to q not so correspondingly we have the variable or non terminal a not so how we are going to write that a not is rewritten as a and it is going to q not 
corresponding non terminal is a not and this is not the final state so only one production is going to be induced next consider this transition q not upon receiving b goes to q1 and q1 is the final state so we are going to introduce two productions for this transition why because q1 that is qj is the final state upon uh, receiving this thing uh, q not is going to q1 which is final state so what are the productions corresponding to q not we have a not is rewritten as the input alphabet that is b and where it goes a1 q1 corresponding to that a1 is the non terminal and we have to introduce one more production which is nothing but just like this a not is rewritten as b because q1 is the final state again consider q1 upon receiving a goes to q1 and q1 is the final state so again we are going to get two production rules corresponding to q1 we are having this a1 so a1 is rewritten as a a1 and a1 is rewritten as a again q1 upon receiving b goes to q1 and q1 is the final state so a1 is rewritten as b a1 and a1 is rewritten as b so in this way we are going to construct a regular grammar for a given dfa thank you for watching